and movies, no matter which mode it's in. Images remain bright and colorful even at very wide angles. When I watched the trailer for Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight, the rich, goldenrod lapels on Samuel L. Jackson's jacket provided a great contrast to his dark winter coat. The biggest weakness of the Yoga 900's display is its brightness, which is slightly below average. We measured the Lenovo at 284 nits, which makes the Surface Book and the HP Spectre X360 13 significantly brighter, at 387 nits and 339 nits, respectively. The Dell Inspiron 13 7000 was only slighter more luminous, at 316 nits. More, best Lenovo laptops. The Yoga 900's color range was a tad short of covering the entire sRGB color spectrum, scoring 93.2%. That puts it ahead of the Dell Inspiron 13 7000, 88.6, but behind the Spectre X360, 103.2%, and the Surface Book, 98.5%. The Yoga 900's color accuracy was similarly strong, but not at the head of the pack, it earned a Delta E rating of 2.77, closer to zero is better. The Surface Book scored a superb 0.57, while the Dell Inspiron and the Spectre X360 were also better, at 1.16 and 1.25, respectively. The Yoga 900 Stereo JBL speakers are positioned behind two grills and feature Dolby DS 10.0 home theater certification. Unfortunately, even after playing around with the included Dolby Audio app, I found the bass was lacking. However, when I listened to Drake's Hotline Barreling, I liked the crisp sound of the staccato percussion and richness in the mids and vocals. One downside of the speaker's bottom-mounted design is that audio can shift greatly from quite airy to sometimes harsh depending on what surface the system is resting on you'll get the best audio experience when the Yoga 900 is transformed into tent mode. The biggest improvement Lenovo could make on the 900 is to find a way to position speakers on the front of the display, possibly on that big bottom chin.